Okay, I'm back and I'm doing a video on The Sopranos. My disclaimer is this. I love The Sopranos. It's my favorite TV show that's ever been on TV. Um, and I think part of the reason is, is because they do an excellent job with dementia. And most shows and movies, as you know, if you saw my video from the other week, I did a video on why The Notebook really sucks at Alzheimer's disease. So this video is actually a promotion for The Sopranos. Okay, so spoiler alert, um, the show came out like 15 years ago, but if you haven't seen it, you haven't seen it all the way through, I'm gonna be talking about up to like season, start of season, like middle of season six. Um, so the person I'm gonna mostly reference is uh, Junior Corrado Soprano. So um, Junior is Tony's uncle, and he, at some point, probably about season four-ish, we really start to see him develop signs of dementia. Now, he's on trial, and at some point they're trying to prove that he's not competent. They do an amazing job of bringing this on slowly. And so it doesn't, like, hit you in the face. You're not like, whoa, like most TV shows, it's all of a sudden, like, boom, somebody has dementia. Tony's mom at some point shows some signs of dementia, but it's too sudden. And it turns out that she's actually faking it. So this makes sense. Um, Junior, on the other hand, you see signs of uh, the memory issues, some of the confusion, some of the irritability. You see it come on slowly throughout the show. <clears throat> And this is perfect because this is really what you'd be seeing in real life. It doesn't just like, boom, hit suddenly. Now what does happen is uh, Junior gets into some sort of, there's some sort of incident, there's some sort of accident, and uh, all of a sudden it's worse. And I remember there's the scene where Tony's talking to the neurologist and he's like, well, what's the deal? Like he's so confused all of a sudden. And the neurologist says, well, he's probably been working on a dementia for a while now. This is a great way of putting it actually. And it's true. He probably was, um, he probably had, he did have some signs of dementia. And then what happens with a lot of people is that they'll be having some signs of dementia. They'll be having a little bit of dementia and then something will happen. Some precipitating event, like a bad fall or an accident or whatever. And, and they'll dip. And then you won't see them come back to that elevated baseline where they were. They'll just be worse. So they, we see that with Junior. All of a sudden, it's really bad. Now, what just happened, the episode that I just saw last night that kind of inspired me to do this video, is that uh, Junior shot Tony. And this makes complete sense to me. Um, he's very confused. He's very agitated. Somebody's in his house. He doesn't know who it is. And he's been trained through his background that when somebody's in your space that you don't like, you're probably going to try to kill them. So he goes and he gets his gun, which by the way, is a great reason not to have weapons in the house of somebody with dementia, like a gun, um, <clears throat> goes and gets his gun and shoots Tony. And then he goes and he hides. And this actually was really, um, I thought that was really good too, because this is what happens to a lot of people with dementia who wander. They'll go outside, get lost, and then somebody goes to look for them. They know that someone's looking for them and they get scared. They think that they're in trouble. They think that they're being hunted down and they hide. And that's why a lot of people who wander, or not a lot of people, but some people who wander end up actually dying because they get trapped somewhere or they freeze to death or they overheat because they're hiding. So the merits of The Sopranos go on and on. The acting, the writing, really the character development. Um, <clears throat> but this in and of itself, just the way they depict uh, Junior's Alzheimer's disease, I imagine is the type of dementia he has, um, is really excellent. There's even an episode where he is wandering. He's left the house. And at some point, people are encouraging Tony, like, you look, you need to move him into assisted living, which he should do, because this is somebody who needs 24-hour care, clearly. So, thanks for tuning in. You heard it from me first. Uh, this is actually a really, the, the Sopranos is actually a really awesome depiction of dementia. They do it right. If you have any videos, um, any TV shows, any movies you want me to review, um, you want me to tell you if they're terrible <laughs> with dementia, um, let me know, and I'll do a video on that as well. For more updates and videos, follow my blog, Dementia by Day, and check out my book when someone you know is living in a dementia care community. Thanks.